see we do not have deep space uh, radars in India as of now. We need to protect our space against any artillery, any uh, missile attacks, si satellite, whatever we need to protect. So, we do not have a protection system today. First, we need to detect and then protect. That is how it is going to be. So, India has been wanting to build a deep space radar which can look into few thousand kilometers in space all over our space coverage and then have uh, another queued radar which can then track whatever incoming objects and then, and then later you talk about fire control and all the other things comes in picture. So, we need to at least be aware what is happening and track that. So, this uh, India decided we will build a radar in India and only thing is it is a, it's a very large radar each few, few thousand crores mm -hmm. and you cannot build the full radar and find out that there are operational issues and difficulties. So, design is downscaled and to make it 115th, 120th size, the electronics will be common. Multiple blocks, we build it as building blocks. Mm -hmm. So, you do the radar, smaller prototype radar, test it, the, the software and algorithm will be same. The size then multiplied 15, 20 times, the electronic blocks will be repeated, the mechanical structures will be modified mm -hmm. to make the large radar. So, that is the idea. This is a very important uh, development in India and we are very happy to be associated with this product development. We have been working with the DRDO uh, to develop parts of the radar. See, DRDO normally outsource only parts, they do the full design, okay. meaning the architecture is designed by them. Mm -hmm. The subsystems specifications are given, we design against the subs subscription. We will grow 30 40 percent year on year uh, because we have a two year uh, contract visibility. I have orders on hand, so that is clear. Beyond that, to scale to 2000 crore, 1500, 5000, etc., is what we are working on now. We need products for that. We are looking at some various products where we have, see again, we, we are not looking at uh, ab initio competency building. Okay, that going to take a lot of time. If that is then, then they do, uh, you know, instead of organic growth, they so inorganic. So, we want to grow uh, as much as possible organically. The company has designed everything. The fact is, we have a lot of competencies developed and we have developed these competencies and matured these capabilities over the last 5 to 10 years. For example, uh, we started building our own satellite, a nano satellite way back about 8 years back now, 8 to 10 years now. We got into student satellite program. The only thing is we said uh, we won't buy anything. Everything is designed in house. So, from all the component parts, the onboard computer, tele telecommand, transmitters, power systems, whatever it is. Everything is designed in India, everything designed by us. So, we launched it. We got some success, some mistakes we made, we have corrected the mistakes. Cup continue to invest in building, we built the ground stations. Then ISRO started buying for the nanosat satellite program, all the electronics which flies, the telecommunication, telecommunication, tele onboard computer is all ours. The ground stations are ours. It is not very large money, but the point is I need to get space lineage, understanding of operating system in space, move the satellite in space, direct the satellite, see that it is operational. The satellite, whatever launch, even today it is operational. After 5 years, the electronics is working in space. So, we, we understand. So, see this is not a short term game. It is a long term commitment, keep on learning, keep on implementing, keep understanding and improving. So, that we have done. For example, about two, one, two weeks back, the Pixel satellite was launched, Anand, right? The full satellite is designed by us. It is our satellite. We have done this. Now, the satellite is stabilized. We are now giving the attitude command to stabilizing and hand it over to Pixel. Now, third satellite will be launching for upper sat with camera electronics. So, everything is designed by its MWIR camera designed here. Now, what we are doing is stage wise improving our competency and capability, okay. building it. We are not looking at money here, we are looking at capability building. The idea is to build serious different satellites tomorrow. We are starting that. The market size is very large. So, we are now thinking of building our own satellites, serious satellites, and under 200 kg class, design it, go to market after the product. See, we want to do something different from others. But here, the technology is homegrown. See, we have a fantastic technology pool. We need to bring leadership and investment. ISRO is an outstanding organization. There are a lot of ex-ISRO scientists who have a lot of competencies. So, we need to bring them. We do not want to learn what they learnt, learn the mistakes. We have to absorb the mistakes, 
but do modern electronics here. What sort of satellites? We, we would like to do direct optic, visible plus IR, so night time. We can do synthetic aperture radar. We do our own synthetic aperture radar hardware, sat, uh, radars. We build ourselves. See, one thing is just not the satellite. We, we, we have a full satellite competency, ground station competency. We have done all that for ISRO. So we know what to do there. Now we can put the payloads. So we can do high speed communication, 500 megabits, 300 megabits. We do our own, uh, all the communication links we design ourselves. The, the waveforms are designed in by us. So satellite movement is designed by us. The control systems are done by us. So we can do the radar. We can do electronic warfare. We do every element and comment we do in house. That goes into payload. See, we have a competency that can do entire systems here. So, but we need to put this together, we need a lot of money. So the idea is to go public, take some money, see if we can invest this, build satellite, create our markets. Today we are looking at lower earth orbit. So that is market, uh, uh, market is there for GSLB also, but for Geo. But today it is very expensive. You can't do it, 36, you know, launch costs are very high, satellite costs are high. Mostly those are all communication satellites and various other things that we need to scale. See, we, I started with the nano satellite. So investment is low or the expense is low, okay. Test the algorithms, mm. test everything because once it goes to space, it does not work. I, have no, I cannot bring it back to change it. So you know, the testing on ground takes years Correct. and the algorithm to test it. So we start there. Now we are going to LEO. Mm. Let us see how it goes because we cannot jump the moon. This itself is a big jump for us. Mm.